In the world of data warehousing, two important historical figures to be familiar with are Bill Inman and Ralph Kimball. They came up with these foundational ideas for how we design and model data warehouses. And chances are, if you work in analytics, you're gonna hear about these two guys. So it's important to be familiar with their ideas. So I'll start first with Bill Inman. So when it comes to designing or modeling your data warehouse, his idea was to use a top-down approach. So as you bring in data sources, first centralize that in an enterprise data warehouse, centralize there. And then after that, you may send some data down to business-focused data marts, like a data mart that's specifically for HR, the data they need, and for marketing, and so on. But you're starting with the enterprise data warehouse. Ralph Kimball kind of took the opposite approach. So as you bring in a bunch of different data sources, start with a business unit focused data marts. Again, like a data mart specifically for HR, for marketing or operations and so on. And here's what that could look like. In the case of Inman, you've got a bunch of different sources, a variety of places, and you're centralizing them inside the enterprise data warehouse. And you may take that downstream to these data marts a little later. Kimball, kind of the reverse of that. This is the bottoms up approach. You bring in the sources to these business unit focused data marts, like for operations or HR, and then you may take them down to the data warehouse later. Now, you might be thinking, okay, I, I get the idea, the distinction between those, but why might you choose one over the other? So in the case of Inman, again, this is top down, you're gonna have a more time consuming and a longer delivery. Okay, so you've got this big, it's like building a big factory. You're building your enterprise data warehouse, you're centralizing everything, but it just takes time to get there, as opposed to building a bunch of little factories over time. Now, a benefit of this is it's gonna be simpler maintenance. So you've got, as you're bringing in all of your data sources, them centralized in one place, it's in one area. Now with the Kimball approach, it's gonna be simpler deliveries. You can roll them out quicker, it's more iterative, but it's gonna be more challenging maintenance. You've kind of got your data scattered in more places, more challenging that in that way. So you're thinking about in terms of time to delivery and the complexity of maintenance among other things. Now it's important here to talk a little bit more about Kimball's method because you'll probably hear about Kimball more than you will Inman. And so I wanted to talk about just a couple more things in regards to his method. Now first is that probably the most foundational reading in data modeling is a book by Ralph Kimball and Margie Ross called The Data Warehouse Toolkit. And it covers their idea of what's called dimensional modeling. And so um, the idea of dimensional modeling is built around these things called star schemas. And so in this schema, what you've got is something in the middle and then kind of points or tables on the edge. And that's kind of why it's called a star schema. And so in this schema, you've got a fact table, which is the heart of your design it's like measurements, it's like sales, for example, something you're measuring. And then you have dimensions that are describing or providing additional context or information about those facts. So for example, sales is what we're measuring. Maybe that's the heart of what we're measuring in this design. And then you've got customers as a dimension, customers purchased products, generate sales. Another dimension is products. So that's what we're selling and employees who sell those products as another dimension. And so you've got ways of describing what's happening around these sales. And so these are star schemas. That's at the heart of Kimball's dimensional model. And then you've got these supporting dimensions kind of around it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. And if you're interested in a SQL cheat sheet, you can find one over at codybaldwin.com.